Well guys, I think Regan is finally down to sleep. But I feel like I'm at the point. Oh, I just feel like I'm at that point where I like I know this is like the tough part where they cry heaps and like this week I said to you guys has been like a hard week and I know that this is like the peak of the fussiness and everything. So yeah, I just I don't know. I just feel like I'm yeah, I think the best way to explain how I'm feeling right now is just really kind of alone in all this. Today, isn't it, Miller? It's Saturday. It's the weekend today, but Daddy's got to go into work quick this morning, doesn't he? But he'll be back soon. Cody's got to go into work um, quickly this morning just to unlock, I think, unlock the site and let people in. And then he's going to come home and do more work because um, we're at the point now where we need to do some plumbing on the <coughs> Renos. I'm so excited to show you guys the Renos and where they're at now. So much has happened this week, this last week. We've got the whole top story framed now. We've got the roof trusses on. Um, we've also got the veranda done. And yeah, I can, I'll can. i take you guys up there later and show you. But it's supposed to be a beautiful sunny day today. So I'm sure it's going to fine up within the next couple of hours. And I need coffee. I need coffee. <laughs> Day is fully starting to clear up. Yeah, you can go outside. We're so used to when the workers are here, they like can't really go outside. I just don't want them getting in the way and getting knocked over or anything. My Good girl. It was yummy in your tummy. What did you have this morning? What did you have? Chris. Chris on. Croissants. You love them, hey? Yeah. <laughs> Regan's getting a lot happier now when she's awake, which is really nice, but she's sleeping more during the day. So I think a lot of the time she was just overtired when she was being quite fussy. Mom, I'm going to run next to the sink so that you can wash it later. Thanks, darling. I was saying over my Instagram yesterday, like between six to eight weeks is actually peak fussiness. I shared a graph with you guys over there as well, um, just showing like it does start to go down a lot at around about 10 to 12 weeks. So Bubby's had some really fussy days the last week, but yesterday was a really good day. Um, but the last few nights she's like switched around and done this thing. She used to always have like her really long stint right at the start of the night. So she would go down at like 5.30 and then wake up like, I don't know, between four and seven hours later, she would wake up. Um, whereas now she's doing this new thing where she's waking up and I'm feeding her for an hour and a half and every time I go back to bed, she's like sound asleep and I go to close my eyes, probably been like five, 10 minutes and then she cries and then I have to go back in the room and feed her again. So this goes on for an hour and a half. It's usually at around about like between 9.30 and 10.30 and this has only just started the last few days but it's happened like every day the last few days. And then she has like that big long stint early in the morning. So she'll have it from like two o'clock 
till 7 o'clock but these kitties wake up at like 4 30 so I'm not getting like that big chunk of sleep so I was so excited this morning so I was like yes I'll have Kurt home I'll be able to have a little sleep in and then his boss rang yesterday his boss is so nice he's like you don't have to but they needed someone to go up there to like let the guys in at work and Kurt was like I'm just gonna go up um, so I get my sleep in tomorrow which will be nice and Kurt working on a Saturday these days is such a rare occasion and if you guys remember Kurt used to work every single Saturday but anyways wait and see what Regan does this next week because babies are just so unpredictable what have we got on Friday Miller I might actually vlog that. We've got Miller's cleft appointment. If you guys remember last time we went, Lincoln was like Regan's age. Lincoln was like six weeks or something. And yeah, it was chaos. So this year with three kids is gonna be like madness. But yeah, I'll bring you guys along, let you know how everything's trekking with Miss Miller um, cleft wise. Anyways, I've just rambled for like five minutes. So I'm gonna go hang out with these kitties and I'll see you guys later on. I'll probably see you guys when Cody gets home and show you a little tour of the Renos and where we're at. Guys, look, the rain is disappearing and the clouds are going away and the blue sky is coming out. I like those shiny little clouds. It's so it's cool, huh? You like the big ones, Linky? And Will likes the shiny little ones. I remember sitting on the beach and talking about how we would sail away and carving out initials in our hearts so clear and throwing bread to fish that never came. And I remember when you let it go, bound for the islands with the man. I was still a fishing boy, what good Now Curtis home, I'll give you guys a little tour of the Renos, show you guys where we're at. So you guys have seen downstairs, it's pretty much the exact same, it actually is the exact same. But wait till you guys see upstairs. I hate climbing up the ladder. So this will be where the staircase ends. There will be a nice big window up the top of the staircase. So this is a walk-in robe, guys. So we've got this section here, and then it's like a big L shape, so it goes all the way along there too. And we've got a nice big window in here. We've got quite a few windows and that to try to keep it nice and bright. Then down the end here, I'm gonna put my vanity to do my makeup, and there's a nice big window up there as well. So you have to walk through the robe to get to the bathroom. So over this wall here will be our vanity and our mirror. Then on the back wall here, this wall um, has to get knocked out and that wall has to get knocked out because that's going to be glass and glass. And that is going to be our double shower. So we'll have a shower on this end and a shower on that end. And that's a nice big high window there. And then over here is where the toilet will go. Then if you, instead of going straight, turn this way, this will take you into our master bedroom. So this is where our bed will go. There's a nice big window above our bed. And the view at our window, I think when it's not cloudy, you can see um, there's like a mountain house called Mount Warning. I'm pretty sure you can just see it. This is going to be a nice big sliding door. And this is my first time seeing the um, veranda. And we've gone like a really nice light gray color for the um, mod wood. And yeah, we'll basically be overlooking the pool. Then if you pan over this way, this is where the little bench seat's gonna be. So we were gonna do a window seat just going straight across like that, but because of the amount of room we've got, we're now gonna do an L shape. So we're gonna have it go like this and then go like that. And then on this side here, we're gonna do like um, inbuilt shelving. So it's gonna have like all shelving in there for books and things like that. There's a nice big window there. And this is upstairs, guys. 
I don't know if I can walk out here safely. I'm sure I can, but I just get so nervous around all this stuff. But it's all fully happening now, guys. I've literally been here every single day and this all this top section has happened within the matter of one week. So they've got so much done. They've literally done all the framework, put up all like the wall bits. They've done all the deck. They've, yeah, they've just been smashing it out. So hopefully we're gonna be in and have it all done before we know it. So guys, they're doing all the plumbing on the house. While they're doing that, Regan is down sleeping here and I've got the monitor on full ball so I can hear her. And what are we gonna do, guys? We're gonna go to the pool? Six. Yeah. All right, let's grab a water bottle each. Chuck the towels over. Let's go surfing now. Everybody's yeah. looking out. Come on, let's go. Guys, hours have passed and Kurt is still um, doing the plumbing on the Renaults. He thought it'd maybe be like a couple or a few hours and it's literally been, how long has it been now? It's been five hours and they've probably got at least another hour or two. <laughs> so it's gonna end up being pretty much most of the day, especially cause he was gone all morning at work. Hey Abby. <laughs> so I don't think we're gonna be getting out this afternoon. And this little girl's been a little bit unsettled, haven't you, honey? Have you been a bit unsettled? <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be getting her down in about half hour. And when she goes down, um, while Kurt's still working, I might pop the monitor out with him and just go out for a walk. Because I just feel like, guys, I've just been at home looking after kids all day. And it's my Saturday. So I really want to try to do something. Um, so I might just go for a walk down to the beach and back. Hey. While well, you're done sleeping. Gwumpy girl, you've been a gwumpy girl. <laughs> well guys, I think Regan is finally down to sleep. But I feel like I'm at the point. I'm just making faces. Oh, I just feel like I'm at that point where I like, I know this is like the tough part where they cry heaps and like this week, I said to you guys, it's been like a hard week and I know that this is like the peak of the fussiness and everything. But I feel like all week, like what gets me through is being like, okay, on Saturday, I'm gonna have a hand and it's like absolutely nothing against Kurt whatsoever. Because like he needs to get the stuff done for the reno and he had to go into work today, like it is totally fine. But like he thought it would have been finished three hours ago and it's still not finished. It's three o'clock, still haven't eaten lunch yet. All three of the kids have been hectic today. I think it's just the other two have been worn out, for, worn out from daycare um, yesterday. And then yeah, she is just being so unhappy today. I remember always feeling just like really alone and overwhelmed at this point in time, like around that six week mark. Oh, and I'm feeling it again. Like I kept telling myself like, I'm gonna go out for walks every day and do this and do that. And um, like, it's just been too hard. It's honestly like just this week, I've just been like too hard basket. And I always say as well, like, you know, some babies are really easy. Linky was just like the easiest baby. Mill was the hardest by far, but I guess she had her cleft as well, so that was just like a whole new learning thing within itself. Um, but Regan's been pretty tough. She's been pretty tough. Anyways, I just always want to be real with you guys. I'm just, I think too, just like this last week, just not having that much sleep, it's just all catching up with me today. Plus, during the week, it's hard as well, guys. Because I've got um, the builders here. Like I can't sleep during the day. I can't really catch up my rest throughout the week because it's really, really noisy. So yeah, I just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm, yeah. I think the best way to explain how I'm feeling right now is just really kind of alone in all of this. And it's hard because there's really not much that like Kurt can do. Um, like he can't feed Bubby and that when she's up all night and he's working a lot We've got the renos happening. There's just like honestly I know so many of you guys were like you guys are gonna have so much on if you're doing the reno at that point in time We have heaps on like and it's yeah today. It's just feeling very overwhelming I think she's asleep. I'm gonna go try to put her down so I can get out for a walk Miller and Lincoln are like busting to get out too. So I'll bring them with me um, Just for a walk down to the beach. But yes, I just feel like I need a good cry <laughs> Are you excited to go down the beach? You want to race? Okay, okay we just got to we'll race to the road. We have to stop at the road, okay? Ready? Okay, we can race again when, when we finish. Yep. Go! Oh, Lincoln just went fast. Miller, you got to stop at the path. Yep, right there. Miller won. Oh, 
Oh, I lost. Yeah, Mummy always have, loses, you hey. Because you're slow, because you need to have a baby to die. Ready? One more run through. 